Okay, so um, in this video, I would like to explore some of the implications of the formula that we have for work. So remember that work is defined to be the force times the displacement times the cosine of the angle between the force and the displacement. Okay, so one thing to notice is that that can come out positive or negative depending on the angle. So what does that mean? Well, um, if I push an object in the same direction that it's moving, then that means that it can do more work. Okay, so to be concrete, it can pound more nails. Um, if it's moving faster, for instance, because as I push on it, it speeds up, then you know the faster moving object will be able to pound more nails um, later. Um, or if I'm lifting it, I'm applying a force upward and it moves upwards, which means that I will be dropping it from a higher height and it will again be able to do more work. Okay, so um, that means that um, force and displacement are in the same direction, so we get a positive cosine theta. If, on the other hand, I push on an object opposite the way it is moving, then it can do less work. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, if an object is moving and I'm pushing it backwards, that means it'll be slowing down, for instance. So a slower moving object can pound less nails. Or if I am holding an object up, but I'm lowering it, then I'm applying a force upwards, because um, I'm still keeping it from falling, but it is moving downwards. So the force I'm applying and the displacement are opposite directions. In the process of lowering it, it can do less work. Okay, so um, there are a variety of ways this can look, but in all of the cases, if I'm pushing the opposite way that the object is moving, I am reducing its ability to do work. Um, it's also possible that work can be zero. So um, the work can be um, positive or negative or zero, uh, depending on what combination of force and displacement it's undergoing. Okay, so let's just look at a few different cases. So um, if we have positive work, then that means that the angle has to be less than 90 degrees between the force and the displacement. So that could look like the force being to the right and the displacement being to the right. Um, the angle between those is zero, so that gives us a positive work. Or it could mean that the force is to the left and the displacement is to the left. That is another case where the angle is zero and the work is positive. Okay, so notice that it doesn't matter whether the force and the displacement are to the right, to the left, up, down, at some angle, none of that matters. I can have a positive work, even if all of the um, vectors that go into the calculation you might want to call negative, um, it's still a positive work if the angle between them is less than 90 degrees. Okay, they don't have to actually be the exact same direction. I could, for instance, have um, the force look like this and the displacement look like that. Um, the angle between them is less than 90, so it still comes out positive. What about negative? Well, I need an angle that is bigger than 90 degrees in order to come out with a negative cosine. So that could be a force to the right and a displacement to the left. There's a 180 degree angle between those, so I get a negative cosine. They don't have to be exactly opposite. I could have a force like this and a uh, displacement like that. The cosine um, is still going to come out negative. Um, and it doesn't matter, again, whether they're pointing to the right or left or up or down. What matters is the angle between them. If that angle is bigger than 90 degrees, we get a negative work. Okay, um, and the case where we have zero work, well, that means that theta is exactly 90 degrees. Okay, so um, that could be a displacement downward and a force to the right. Um, it could be a displacement to the right and a force upwards. It could be any combination. Um, as long as we have a 90 degree angle between them, that's what's going to matter. All right, so the key takeaway here is we want to pay attention to the angle, not the direction. Okay, so... Um, I kind of discourage people from thinking of vectors as being positive or negative anyway, but here that will really trip you up if you think of vectors to the right as just positive and ones to the left as negative, for instance. Um, what you want is to think of the angle between them, not the specific direction. Also notice that the work is a scalar. Okay, so um, we don't have work to the right, work to the left, work up or down. Work is just a scalar. It's positive, negative, or zero. Um, it never has a direction associated with it. The inputs do. The force and the displacement are um, vectors, but the work itself is a scalar.